it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another mukbang video. As you guys can see, I have a pretty delicious feast in front of me. I am so excited. Uh, this is basically kind of like a Japanese sort of, I guess, feast. <laughs> So we have here some Inari sushi, which is basically bean curd that's like really sweetened and I don't know what they do with this. It's like fried bean curd and then they're stuffed with rice. I stuffed them myself and for fun, I decided to add some fun little toppings here. I'll explain the toppings as I eat them, okay? And then we also have some cold soba noodles. Ooh, guys. Some cold soba noodles in cold soup and then some tofu, cucumber, all that good stuff. I am so excited. Let's get started. All right, you guys, first, let's grab our drink. Of course, we're having bubbly. Yes. I mean, this isn't really, it doesn't go with this meal, but whatever. I still like my bubbly, okay? <sighs> Whew, it's hot already. We are going to dig right in. I kind of want to start with tasting the soup. I did make this myself. I followed a recipe. So this is kind of like naengmyeon. I don't know if you guys have heard of naengmyeon, but it is a Korean dish and it stands for cold noodles. And um, Korean people, we like to have like cold noodles, um, especially in the summertime. You know what, let's just, let's just try this. Mm. So this broth traditionally is not vegan, but I found a vegan recipe for it. So I am, I'm, 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 I made that. I don't know why I can't talk. Mm -hmm. Let's have some noodles. So I use soba noodles, of course. Mm, you guys know I love me some soba noodles. All right. Mm. I did not bring a, uh, a napkin. Anyways, guys, how are you? It's been some time. Okay, let me do one more little bite of the noodles and then we'll get started with the inari. Mm. Mm. I have some kimchi. Mm. Mm hmm. I'm so happy. Mm -mm. All right, people. As you can see, I have five different types of inari in front of me. They all have random toppings. Let's start with this one. So this first one has vegan mayo and green onion. It's super random, but I just wanted to find whatever I could put on top of these because I've noticed that the trend now is having toppings. I don't know if it's just in Korea, but the trend is to have toppings on top of the inari, and I feel like it'd be really fun, so let's give this a try. Oh, and the rice inside is like seasoned with a rice vinegar. Oh. Mmm. 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 That is so good. So in Korea, these things are called yubu choba. Yubu choba. And it's quite popular in Korea as well. But I do believe it originates from Japan. So you can buy these like bean curd things in you know your Asian supermarket and then just stuff them yourself with rice. Mm. Mm, mm, 
So you guys. Mm. So there's been some recent drama, my friends. In the, not the vegan community. Well, there's always drama in the vegan community. <laughs> um, there's been some drama in the mukbang community, specifically in Korea. I don't know if you guys have heard about this. Probably not because most of these mukbangers, well, none of these mukbangers are vegan mukbangers. <laughs> But there's a massive mukbang creator community in Korea, obviously. Mukbang originated in Korea, so it would make sense. Basically, recently, there's been this huge scandal where a bunch of these, I don't think it's just mukbangers, but just YouTubers in general, were outed for doing really shady business, okay? All right, guys. Next. This one I'm excited about. This one actually has some Thai chili vegan tuna on top. So I actually used the Loma Linda uh, vegan tuna. I found a package of it in my pantry the other day and I was like, ooh, it'd be good on top of this. I mean, let's just try guys. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. So, the drama is that a lot of these YouTubers have been doing sponsored videos but not disclosing the sponsorships. And apparently, it's quite common practice. Not common practice, but it happens more often than you think, specifically in Korea. I don't know about other countries, but apparently in Korea, the sort of backdoor advertising is apparently very common. Mm -hmm. I actually talked about this in more detail in um, our podcast, the Savage podcast. I can't remember which episode. I think it's the most recent one. If you're wondering what these taste like, it's like really sweet. Mm. Oh my god, it's really hard to explain what it tastes like. It's almost impossible. It's sweet, it's delicious, you just have to try it, okay? You can actually get Inari sushi in like most sushi places, I think, but usually it's very expensive, so you can make it at home really easily, so I don't know, make it at home, okay? So anyways, uh, yeah, we talked about this in more detail in our podcast. I think the episode is called like the crazy, no, what was it? Like something about influencers <laughs> and how they're awful. <laughs> Because we talk about like a bunch of different stories regarding influencers and um, just like not good stories, just bad ones. <laughs> so anyway, a bunch of these mukbangers got outed. Some of these are like really big names, you know? Millions of followers, subscribers. It's like a big scandal because basically what they would do is they would eat food from like a specific, I don't know, chain restaurant or something. And then they would just say like, hey guys, like today I brought some food from Pizza Hut. And then they would just like eat it and obviously, you know, film a mukbang video but then not say that it was sponsored, even though they were getting paid. Super shady stuff. Anyway, I thought that was interesting. I don't know why I brought it up. If you want to know more details, you can, want, uh, you can listen to our podcast. All right, guys, so this one, let's see, what's next? What should I do next? 
Let's do this one. This one's super random. I was like, what should I put in the last one? This is just, uh, there's some rice underneath here and a bunch of cucumber. Healthy, very healthy. Do you think I can fit this in my mouth? Mmm. Mmm. I'm actually really surprised that I took that in one bite. Mm. Oh my god. Also, who came up with the word influencers? Does anyone know? Because it's the worst. <laughs> I don't know why I dislike it so much. It just seems so like pretentious, like I'm an influencer. Like, who came up with it? Was it some random person? Or was it like an organization? Like who decided that this was the term that would describe social media people? <laughs> mm. I'm in heaven, guys. Everything just tastes so clean. It's so like refreshing. I love it. And it's actually cooling me down. In the beginning, when I first started filming, I was like really hot. And now I'm like, cool. Everything's good. No problem at all. Mm. Mm. Let's go for this one. This one just has a little kimchi on top. I just thought of a video idea. I'll make a video and share like different ideas on toppings for these Inari sushis. Mm -hmm. Guys. Guys, I'm in heaven. Guys, I'm in heaven. Mm. Cause you know, if you just have the Inari with the rice, it's fun and all, it's still delicious, but it's so much more fun when you have different toppings so then every single one is like special, you know? That's such a good video idea. I'm totally gonna do it. If you have any ideas, any other ideas for like topping suggestions, I was gonna do like a corn salad where I just put like corn and vegan mayo, but I ran out of corn. Oh my God, this is breaking. No. Mm. Mm. Mmm, guys, so good. I feel like I'm eating this so fast, but it's so good. Anyway, basically, influencers don't look very good at the moment, 
Apparently a bunch of them are partying in LA, throwing massive house parties. This is why the term influencer is so stupid because a lot of people are just like really young people that just like happen to have a lot of followers, which is totally fine, you know, have a lot of followers, but it doesn't mean they're gonna make, you know, good decisions, <laughs> you know, just cause you're an influencer doesn't mean you're gonna make good decisions. You're still a child and you're still just doing what kids do and sometimes that's stupid things. This is sriracha, guys. Just simple. Sriracha. I was gonna leave this plain, but wanted to add a topping. Whoo! Got a burp. Whoo! <laughs> Inari with sriracha. Mmm. Mmm. Right. Yum. Mm. I'm such a messy eater. Mmm. <laughs> oh, guys. This is so good. Oh my god, that was so good, guys. Oh. That was so satisfying. I am super stuffed, and that was so good. It was so good. It's like I'm stuffed, but I don't feel lethargic. Sometimes you're like really full, but if you eat something really heavy, you're like full, but like super ugh. this even though it was like a lot of food so i definitely like ate a lot but i don't feel like really lethargic it's just like yumminess a little bit a little bit burning in my in my mouth you know i don't know which topping was my favorite i almost want to say the kimchi one <laughs> even though that sounds really basic but the kimchi like slightly like not melted but it got warm on the rice and that with the contrast of the sweetness of the inari oh, it was so good, <laughs> so good. Anyways, I just burped again, but you didn't hear it because I edited it out. Yes, okay? I try to, um, I don't know, make sure that you guys have a pleasant viewing experience. And honestly, I hate, I don't know what it is about burping, but if I watch like a mukbang video and someone just like burps really loud, that turns me off really, like really quickly. So I edit out the burps, okay? I edit it out because I don't really like to hear other people burp. It's not really like my thing. Not that it'd be like, Super bothersome, but not my cup of tea. You know what I mean? Okay. Anyway, guys, that was a pretty short mukbang because I just stuffed my face super quickly. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll leave the recipe uh, that I used for this thing down in the description box. If you guys want to make your own anari, you can just buy the bean curd what do you call it? The little pouches in a Japanese or even Korean supermarket. You should be able to find it in like the refrigerator section. And yeah, hopefully you can make your own or you can just go to a sushi restaurant, okay? If you got all the money in the world, just go to a sushi restaurant, okay? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, of course, don't forget to subscribe. I do mukbang videos on Mondays. So yeah, make sure you come back on Mondays for 
my eating show, okay? And of course, guys, don't forget to check out our podcast. I'll link that down below. We do an episode every week and then a bonus episode on Patreon every month, which is awesome as well. All the info will be down below if you guys want to hear me and Daniel talk about random things and what's going on in the world at the moment. So yeah, uh, any suggestions for toppings, toppings, topics? topics. Any suggestions for topics for the next mukbang, let me know down below. And yeah, that's it guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!